Hi friends! I am declaring a war on slugs today. <laughs> so these are the milk jugs that I have rinsed out and I have cut like bits in there so that they can fall in and I'm just gonna make some yeast concoction. Warm water, sugar and some yeast. I keep my yeast in the freezer, it lasts longer. Me. Me. This yeast is expiring so I'm just gonna go to town with it and hopefully it will grow. Definitely smells yeasty. Hopefully, the slugs will be attracted. See how many I can execute tonight. I don't really want to do this. I really don't. But I have no choice. If if I had if I had like two hedgehogs in a in a garden, they would probably eat most of the slugs and I am all up for natural predators taking care of the garden but what I'm not okay for is having 30 to 20 to 30 slugs on on a piece of like plant you know which is just I can't put anything out at the moment my beans need to go out really really need to go out but I can't put them out because Slugs will eat them, and so do my peas. And I'm just looking at them, going like, "Yeah, you're big enough." And I started them inside, just on the purpose because the shoots will be eaten by slugs if you don't start them indoors, which is just ridiculous. They have started eating grass. My tulips have no leaves. Well, the leaves have massive holes. They're eating tulip leaves. They're eating rhubarb, they're eating sorrel, they're eating everything that's not tied down, basically. I left my door open last night because I was cooking, so to get the steam out of it. And, and there was one, one inside of the house this morning because it just came for plants. It ate one of the tomatillos. So now I have one less. Yay. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> this is gonna be an experiment. I know I should probably wait for it to rise or something, but can't be bothered. It's getting late and I shall see if it actually works or not and yeah let's go and install them I'm just sitting in my garden this evening it's very nice outside here's my setup of all of my seedlings so that they don't get eaten <laughs> And then they're coming in, in the evening. Some of the marigolds are recovering. Some of them are dead. But, here you go. <coughs> Falling down. I just wanted to update you on a slug trap situation. <laughs> they were up for two nights. And they caught 71 slugs. I just roughly counted them as I was burying them. I just dug a pit in one of the beds and they are becoming part of my garden. And instead of eating it, they are gonna feed some plants. <laughs> another great thing is, I have another hedgehog in the garden. I saw him last night. He is sleeping. So my hedgehog house is there in the corner 
But this little fella is sleeping here in the middle of my loganberry and blackberry teepee. He's collected enough leaves there, just there, to have his own little burrow. <laughs> and he's very cute. And I hope he starts eating soon. <laughs> just, he came out yesterday night and I'm super happy about it. it means I have a hedgehog. Yay! Super happy about it. I am going outside tonight. We are gonna do something new. A slug relocation program. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get collect them in this jar and I'm gonna relocate them like far away from my house. Because I have done the traps for three nights now and I have gotten something like 100 slugs. But then yesterday I opened the door and there were like a carpet of them on the floor. So I expect that this will be like half full. I'll put the gloves on because I do not want to touch them with my bare hands because the slime, you just can't get it off. And off I go. See you in a bit. Or probably a couple of hours. It's dark outside, so don't mind. This is a real house. Things happen. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I've been out in the garden, as you can see. <laughs> it's kind of windy. I've been out there for about two hours. I've done one quarter of my garden. And I'm just gonna pre-warn you. If you do not like to look at slugs, um, go away now. <laughs> but the jar is full. <laughs> they are all alive, of course. Yeah, and we are, I'm just hold, holding them up. Um, we're gonna go and do forcible rehoming and I'm gonna go about 200, 300 meters away from my home. There's a massive hedge. So I'm just gonna let them go there and hopefully they live and are happy there and instead of here where they have nothing to eat. <laughs> I found some uh, leopard slugs as well, which is awesome news because I'll show you how it lo they look. They're really really cool, but they're really shy when you hold them. They're a bit slimmer than normal slugs. They do not eat plants and they eat other slugs. <laughs> so I have predator slugs in my garden. They are not in this jar. They're back out there in the garden. I found five of them <laughs> and I actually observed one of them actually preying on another slug and yeah kind of like enveloping it and it was kind of gross it was kind of cool in the same time okay I'm gonna go because they are they're very active um they're trying to get out I'm gonna go and rehome them now <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Uh, if you like it, subscribe and like and um, I will... There's one on my hand trying to escape. Um, I'll see you next time, okay? Bye. From me and, and lots of crawly friends <laughs> that's gonna be exiled from my garden. Oh, another thing is it's very dry tonight so not all of them are out. So I am thinking I probably got like one third, maybe one fifth of what, what I have in the garden. I just need to wait for it to drain and go out there again and do this like a couple more times. And I think I will have good enough way of planting and I'll be able to plant. Bye! <laughs>